True Jordy canceled for dissing Andrew Tate. Adam and Abel react. Oh, True Jordy got canceled? Jesus, what? Title: Andrew Tate. <laughs> how do you uh, how do you feel about the latest scandal, which I find very fascinating? True Jordy is basically canceled on the internet. He has twitched air. He got fired from damn near every sponsor because he made a. Uh, oh op- damn! He got fired from every sponsor. You see, for for making a small ass joke that he took back immediately and apologized to the entire public. And look, these are the consequences for being a true hypocrite. Yeah, they should they should cancel Andrew Tate. But look at what you said. Look at what you said. Oh, Andrew Tate doesn't deserve a second chance. Do you, True Jordy? Do you? A <laughs> joke, I guess you could say, about uh, Andrew Tate and his newfound uh, Muslim nature beliefs. Yeah. He, he said the whole blowing up thing. Yeah, he w. said something about like mm, go blow yourself up or whatever if you're so Muslim. Uh, it's a pretty offensive statement. It is kind of odd to see someone getting canceled for saying something Islamophobic about somebody who apparently has only been Muslim for like a couple weeks. Yeah, but I mean that's pretty interesting, especially in light of the. Uh, I wonder if the Kanye and Kyrie thing kind of amplified the. Do you guys think True Jordy should have honestly been? Uh canceled though for making that remark making that joke leave one if you believe true jordy should have been canceled leave two if you believe you shouldn't i believe true jordy should be canceled based on true jordy's perspective on the way in which he reacted to andrew tate i know it was a personal beef but if i detach myself from their little quarrels and their little beefs and i were to look at it objectively i know he made a bad joke but the intentions weren't to like truly degrade a race. And I think that he got a lot of backlash for it. And I think that's the reaper that those are the consequences for making a stupid ass joke, bro. You get roasted by your community, you know, maybe dropped by some sponsors, but as far as being fully canceled, I don't know, man, I think that's fucking stupid. Yeah. I don't know. Leave a one. If you think true Jordy should have been canceled, leave two. If you, if you don't care, you don't think he should have likelihood of that happening or like just people reacting to religious stuff that way or just we're seeing all these people get destroyed for you know having the nerve to say something about the jews i mean I don't know what the, the muslims is. aren't going to sit around and let that go down without getting double nervous. kill oh, true jordy know? sorry you're done you want to know what the real take is on this man christians must be mad because you can say anything about jesus and nobody gives a fuck mm, yeah we haven't seen that in a while yeah yeah yeah. you could you could say whatever you call them pastors this you could say this you could make any stereotype about diddling kids or you can say whatever you want well it's the same way we're that's using- not true you'll definitely get attacked by the religious community but you won't get canceled so i'll, I'll give them that tweet, i hate white people and you can't tweet i hate black hey, people man. hey and- christians it's time for y'all to get a little upset <laughs> you know it's like time for you guys to get your reparations even though he's like uh apparently from egypt and whatnot or you know yeah. somewhere in the middle east probably not white he still gets treated like the white religious figure where you can kind of dump on jesus a little bit nobody nobody gave a shit when jesus was on south park like a million fucking times right. but if you draw the prophet yeah, the you, pro- get murked. you still can't see those episodes of south park i heard i mean i'm sure they're out there but i heard that those ones are I mean, banned from- should we watch should we actually watch what true jordy said to actually give a full perspective let's let's see let's see what true jordy really said out will i get canceled for airing what he said Islamophobia. All right, so this is a great example of what not to do and what not to say. So, guys, this is the full. Let me see if they actually got the full video. Can we actually play this though? Oh, fuck, let's watch. Should we say Muslim guys who uh, are also hungry for their own fame? Should we say? I mean, it, it, watching it, it, those like, guys. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what religion anyone is. A cunt is a cunt is a cunt. Honestly, uh, watching some of these guys desperately pipe Andrew Tate off, going, "Well, of course you'll have learned this because it, you know, this is this is one of the most. It's one of the most pathetic uses of a <laughs> meaningful cause that I've ever seen." Wow, bro. Dude is really mocking him over a f- his own fucking religion, bro. Let the man fucking be. What the- <laughs> What kind of hateful dumb shit is this, bro? It, re- it I actually find it quite uh, off-putting uh, 
some people on YouTube, I, I thought I could maybe learn a bit about Islam from them. They even said I, I could come on your. They offered to come on our podcast because we spoke about Islam once. Uh, I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole now. No, but, but the way that they. Honest. Wow, bro. Wow. Wow. You see how these people think, man? Just like just because you agree with somebody who you don't agree with, they immediately ostracize you. They're the first ones to have that kind of cancel culture mentality. They cancel people just for associating with somebody else. That's a big ass red flag, bro. Now let's see. Let's see what you've already got. To say. They've sucked Andrew Tate off the last let's, week. Let's be real, though. Uh, if you are truly a, a person of moral high value and religion, you ain't going to suck fucking Andrew Tate off, are you? You know what I mean? Like you know what the fucking. But let's be real. You know. So okay, cool. So he's speaking for all the. The people in Islam that have accepted Andrew Tate. Yeah, those people aren't going to sit here and accept him. But a lot of them have. So what are you talking about, man? <laughs> completely speaking out his ass, bro. Breathe air. God knows how long people have been hiding behind religion to get away with all of the dumb shit they want to do or some of the sick shit that they wanted to say and do. And, and it's no different, you know what I mean? I was watching quite an interesting guy for a little while called Muhammad Hijab. And if quite a few people... I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Like Who? A, I'll find this guy. This guy had him on. Okay. And I, 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 I was watching quite a few of his videos. I've got quite an interesting guy. Obviously, I know so little compared to so many other people. So it, this isn't a criticism. It, on a genuine level, like I'm talking to you man to man now. I watch quite a lot of your content and it had me quite interested for a little while. Mm. The way that the way that you spoke, it, he? the way he's that you spoke, all credibility yeah, the way, for, for clout, hasn't he? The way that you spoke to Andrew Tate genuinely made me uh, uh, made me sad that I'd at any point thought that you could be a realistic and, and like and have integrity a, a, and a genuine source for what I thought was going to be uh, like an important uh, subject you know in why? my life. Be you know why, bro? Because when it comes to so money, literally, just because he spoke to Andrew Tate again, he's like, oh, the way in which you spoke to him, I didn't like. You mean you have a, a guest on your show and you treat them with respect and you don't like that <laughs> because you don't agree with the guy? What kind of fucking bullshit is that, bro? In fame, it doesn't matter, man. So many people will turn their fucking backs on shit, man. It genuinely, it genuinely made it genuinely disappointed me because I, I, I watched the guy's videos and I, I, I tried to have some critical. Thing. I tried to have conversation. You, you with my wife about it. So, like in terms of his ass was uh, in the right place. I thought his ass was in the right place. But You're right. Unfortunately, it was not. His head was up. There. It, yeah. That honestly, I, I've, I've never been. I, All right. What I, the fuck are you guys talking about, bro? Can y'all just get to the fucking point of the video? Jesus. All right. So there's another Andrew Tate shit. Wait, what did he say though? What did, he, did, I, did I just skip it? God damn it. I thought, you know what? There might be something there. Um, and it doesn't, um, yeah, someone put Mohammed Hijab is odd. Yeah, you've definitely summed up. The podcast was one of the oddest things I've ever watched. There's not many people in the world. I've Wait, he, he didn't say shit. This is the wrong clip, bro. I definitely got the wrong clip. What the fuck? Personal beef with. I've had some internet beefs back and forth. There's very few people I personally dislike. One of them is True Jordy. Anyone who's followed me long enough understands why. He's a very insulting, fat, vulgar. He's a dickhead. He's an unlikable person. He's not very smart. He's stupid. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. I think True Jordy's a dickhead, specifically when it comes to Andrew Tate and their own beef. All right, because before Andrew Tate's beef with True Jordy, I thought True Jordy was a pretty fucking chill dude, bro. You know, just on the internet, just trying to make videos like anybody else. Then this whole situation arose and you can really see how he thinks. Him and his friend. He has his little girlfriend who sits next to him. And they did a video about me long ago where they were insulting a bunch of women who worked for me, calling them horrible names. He made full grown women cry. I replied and said that's a horrible thing to do and he should apologize. He refused to apologize because he was full of hate. Turns out the man was full of hate because he ended up begging for dildos off of a woman. The screenshots were leaked of him begging for dildos, begging to suck right, on them. All right, all right. This is the, this is the same. This is the same. This is the same beef they had before. Where is what he said, bro? True Jordy has put out an apology. All right, fuck this, bro. This guy. This guy wasted my time, bro. Can we not air out what he said? All oh, right here. Start right here. What was weird about 9/11 for me? We were in school. I think we were in art. 
One of my mates that morning drew a picture of a plane going into a building. And I remember watching it, like watching him draw it. And then we. This is not it. This is not it. True Jordy mocking Andrew Tate religion full video. This is a lie. It's a cap. It's a fucking cap. Listening, learning, and changing nine days ago. What do you, bro? You just have to say, I'm sorry, Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate responds to True Jordy. Let, let, let's watch his, his, uh, I guess let's watch his, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. A suicide bomber or something like It's not. It, it, it's just the way he is. Uh, he, re he recently uh, claimed to have uh, joined Islam. Now, given some of his previous statements that absolutely contradict what a lot of Islam is about, uh, I definitely uh, didn't believe a lot of what I was hearing from the internet. I, you know, I, I made a joke in questioning that newfound faith of his that conveniently mm. comes at a time when he needs as many supporters as he can get. It was a stupid joke. As much as I don't want to repeat the joke, I think it's only right so that people have context who don't understand. Uh, I said, if he really wants to prove he's a Muslim, he should uh, blow himself up mm -hmm. as a suicide bomber or something like that. Mm. Oh, no, that's, not, that's pretty bad, bro. That's pretty bad, bro. Why would, like, you see, like, Andrew Tate doesn't say things like that, bro. He doesn't say, he, he just sticks to the facts. You have to sit here and bring up a whole stereotype that clearly clearly invigorates and is just filled with complete hate towards a particular group of people. You made this joke out of hatred from Andrew Tate, at, from, from the hatred that you have of Andrew Tate. Don't you see that the blind hate that you have towards Andrew Tate has completely, has completely made you disregard and completely ignorant Towards the things that you say when it comes towards a religion, towards towards his religion, it's dumb, bro. It's crazy. What I miss? Uh, we're, we're just reacting to True Jordy's apology, man. It was being talked about on the on the No Jumper podcast. Uh, Jesse Jameson, twelve people watching and only two likes. One of them likes are mine. Yo, guys, feel free to like. Feel free to like, bro. Twelve people watching, yo. Drop a like, support a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm struggling out here. When I when I say that out loud, when I'm when I'm aware of it, fucking horrendous. You know, it was one of those off the cuff remarks that uh, I made in a, a with a total lack of thought, and I used uh, an unrealistic stereotype mm -hmm. to take aim at someone who seriously dislikes me. Obviously, I don't believe that's what Muslims actually do. And I don't actually want Mr. Potato Head to die as much as I don't really like him. Um, it was a very stupid thing to say. It was an idiotic joke. Uh, one I'm sorry for, you know. You know, I don't believe any religious stereotype, just to be clear, whether it be... You know what's funny is if you're really sorry, you should sit here and apologize to the exact person that you said it to. Right? You should take full self-accountability, not partial self-accountability, not half half-ass your self-accountability like oh this came from this place we all know where it came from you said it to somebody right you broke guidelines so apologize to that exact person that you said it to andrew tate when he talks about you he speaks on the facts of the things that you've actually said through screenshots he's got them he's got the receipts he don't make up some fictitious bullshit all priests are pedos or all Jewish people run the world and are rich. Like, it, they're all as ridiculous as each other to me. Mm -hmm. And that was partly why I felt comfortable in that moment in saying something so ridiculous. Because I never thought for one second that anyone would take offense to something so silly. Right. You know, at the time, I'm sat next to a guy who has a Muslim family who knows how much love I have for everyone. Like, all right, bro. And then he's going to try to make you feel sorry for the next 20 minutes. I'm not watching that shit, bro. Some fucking garbage. All right. Either way... Garbage ass joke, garbage ass fucking apology, like fucking bullshit. Should he have been canceled for it though? No, I think he should just, I think his community should just hate him. They should just hold him accountable towards it. That's it. I don't think he should be canceled though. I think I was taking it a little too far. What do y'all think? Do y'all agree with me or no?
One, if you agree, True Jordy should be canceled. Two, if you think that he should just be held uh, liable through his community. Streaming services and stuff. You can stuff. find it on Pornhub. You can? Seriously? No. Oh. <laughs> no, that would be a good place to put it, yeah. <laughs> Pornhub South Park. I mean, I'm sure it's on the Pirate Bay no matter what. Yeah, you can find it somewhere. But, I mean, it's, it's an interesting double yeah. standard. Yeah, Jesus really does get kind of shit under the it's stick. It's pounded on all the time. Yeah. I have no dog in the fight. I really don't care. Feely about stuff. And understandably, it's very intimate. It's someone they feel like they're very close to. It's, like, close to their heart. And so I understand a lot of, like, the the tension around it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that True Jordy's joke, which admittedly I'm not even sure I actually saw the clip. I just read the quote. Yeah. Do you think that that is enough like do you want to live in a world in which a guy who says something like that loses all of his sponsors does that seem like a fair outcome to you no but that's because i keep the same energy in regards to like trans issues faith related issues like i don't feel like someone making a joke about your faith would necessitate this kind of response and i hate the fact that media yeah i think that like it should have been like if it was intentionally towards the entire religion and he just like and he has an agenda to bring these people down or paint them in some kind of light you know, then, then I'd be like, yeah, definitely. But I don't think he had an agenda. He he just fucking he's stupid. He's being an idiot. That's it. I mean, complete idiot. Has pushed the point where these companies are all reacting this way. Yeah. So I don't think so. No. Right. No. I I think there's rights for people to feel upset. I feel like this fight's right. You know, people want to come at him for it. I'm not got no issue with it. All right, let me see what you guys are saying. You guys are saying, uh, is Tate smoking? <laughs> he's on a balcony. Twelve people watching and only two. Okay, uh, give it time. Obviously, there's a lot of animosity there. Exactly. He tried the I have a friend excuse. <laughs> right? That's what Chucho already did. He's like, yo, I got I got a friend. So, you know, it's like. <laughs> but it, it, I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's truly like. Racially driven, like racist or, or in any capacity or in any way, like we're trying to really hate on the religion itself. I don't I don't think that those were his intentions at all. Um, everyone might as well have a script and all say the same thing. Everyone is so sensitive these days. Exactly, man. Exactly. Two. A lot of a lot of y'all agree. He shouldn't have been canceled. But like the whole losing his sponsors, getting banned off of everything. It's like, bro, how many people have sat on Twitch and made all kinds of jokes about Christians and Jesus and not had their account banned? Mm. Right? What's well, interesting is one he made, and then I think it's just the media uproar made them feel pressured to do something. If I'm not mistaken, he did not say this on Twitch. So he got banned off Twitch for something he said off platform. That shit don't matter no more. Yeah, because Twitch is the by far wokest platform that will ban you for something that you said off platform, apparently, yeah. which is really interesting because nobody's getting their Twitter banned for something. Bro, that's why I don't I don't want to go on Twitch, bro. I don't. I don't want to go on Twitch. I really don't. <laughs> they said on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, Twitch is run by idiots. That's why. They, they're the purple-haired lunatics in the, yeah, in the absolutely. bunch. Yeah, absolutely. All the negative stereotypes you can imagine, that's a Twitter Twitter staff. Sneeko, I think, managed to stream for like 10 minutes, and then they banned him right away. And no. I doubt he really said anything too offensive during that time period. It was just kind of like, nah, get the fuck out of here. That's, yeah. that's like you're walking in with a MAGA hat into the gay club. They're just I mean, not. Somebody said there's got to be an apology manual somewhere. IXS, bro. You fucking joke, bro. <laughs> yeah, like how, I mean... How are you supposed to apologize and keep your sponsors? You can't. You can't. Once it's said, it's done. You just got to make new allies. Um, you know, you got to look at it as an opportunity to redeem yourself, kind of the way in which Logan Paul did. Because the internet will give you a second chance, bro. It will give you a second chance. There, there, there's always a place to go to or, or to head to, even if you get canceled. Look at Andrew Tate with Rumble. Look at when your message is true, people will follow you. All right. When your message is not as true, then you have to, you know, cry and beg and, you know, bend on your knees, bend over, take it to sit here and and stay on the platform, which is very degrading. And, you know, like, how, how much else can you apologize, bro? The intentions weren't there. That yeah, was going to be so easy. And, I, and he knew he wasn't going to last long there because <laughs> yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, it, it didn't matter. Once they saw what he'd done on YouTube and some of the stuff he was guilty of and all these social media companies, they all know each other. They have like, they know people who run like the management people at the other spot right. or even like content creation. Right, so yo, you got, like they, they go everywhere in the conversation. They can't stick to like Andrew Tate. Yeah. So on the Tate and stuff Jordan. and the whole Muslim thing, um, yeah, I think what I just took away from it is just, it's an overreaction. And I think we're going to see more and more of this in the future. Yeah. It's like, fuck it.
terrified. It's interesting with True Jordy because his last scandal was him uh, texting somebody telling him he wanted to eat their shit. <laughs> All right, so somebody somebody asked a very important question. Yeah, I'm going to stop watching this shit. Uh, Thirsty Thursday said, what's the point of watching all those guys if they're not really being themselves? The point of watching it is to truly expose. All right, there's a lot of people. They have a lot of influence. They have a lot of people that are watching them. A lot of people, you know, spending time consuming um, the things that they're saying without truly thinking about it. So what I try to do is I try to watch it. I try to put myself, you know, empathy, give a little bit of empathy and put myself in their shoes and see things through their perspective, through their lens as they say it, and then I try to deconstruct it in my brain, the parts that make sense and the parts that absolutely don't, right? And then we, well, what can we do? What can we do to try to help people that are viewing it? We can try to be like, yo, think freely. What are they actually saying in the conversation? They're saying nothing. They're not contributing towards the subject. It's fucking stupid. It's stupid. <laughs> or maybe we can agree. You know, I, I, I agree. I think in this, in, this, in this specific scenario, we agree that True Jordy shouldn't have been canceled, even though he's the enemy to Andrew Tate. Even though, even though, even though True Jordy believes that Andrew Tate doesn't deserve a second chance, we can still sit here and say, "Hey, guess what? True Jordy shouldn't have been canceled, but he should be held responsible for the things he says, and his community will roast him for it. The people that he does business with, the sponsors, will drop him. Those are the consequences for saying some stupid ass shit." 